All right, so here we have question number four, February, March, 2022, maths one. And the topic is arithmetic and geometric progressions. This question is worth six marks. So the question is saying that the first term of a geometric progression and the first term of an arithmetic progression are both equal to a we also know this thing okay the third term of the geometric progression the third term of the geometric progression is equals to the second term of the arithmetic progression since we know that in a geometric progression the formula for finding a specific term is t n is equals to a multiplied by r raised to the power n minus one so third term of the geometric progression would be a r square and since we know that the formula for finding a specific term in an arithmetic progression is a plus d times n minus one. So we can say that the second term of the arithmetic progression is a plus d. So a r square <coughs> will be equated to a plus d. This is the, our first equation which is connecting a r and d. a r square is equals to a plus d. This is your equation number one. Okay. Then we have another condition that the fifth term of the geometric progression is equal to the sixth term of the arithmetic progression. So the fifth term of the geometric progression would be a multiplied by r raised to the power four. And the sixth term of an arithmetic progression would be a plus 5d. So according to this condition, we can say that a multiplied by r raised to the power four is equals to a plus 5d. This is your equation number two, which is connecting a, r, and d. Now the requirement is given that the terms are all positive and not all equal, find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic, uh, the, find the first, uh, find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic progression in terms of a. So you just need to solve these equations. a, r squared is equals to a plus d and a r raised to the power of four equals a plus five d. And since you can see that the requirement is that you need to find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic progression in terms of a. This, this means that you won't be able to find the value of a. You need to give your final answer in terms of a. So this means that you can find the value of r and the value of d. So first of all, what I'm going to do, make D the subject of the equation in equation number one. So D equals A R square minus A. And I'm going to substitute this into the second equation. So A multiplied by R raised to the power four is equals to A plus five times A R square minus A. So A multiplied by R raised to the power four is equals to A plus five A R square minus five A. A r raised to the power four is equals to five a r square minus four a. Now what you can do, uh, you can take a common on the right hand side of the equation so that you can cancel it out with this a. So a r raised to the power four is equals to taking a as common multiplied by five r square minus four. So a and a is canceled out. So r raised to the power four equals five r square minus four and r is to the power four minus five r square plus four is equal to zero. Okay, so you have, so far you have achieved a disguised quadratic equation in terms of r, which you can solve it and you can find the value of r. And you need to remember these conditions over here that all the terms are positive and not all equal. Okay, so the common ratio cannot be negative and the common ratio cannot be equals to one, isn't it? The common ratio cannot be negative. Okay, and the common ratio cannot be equals to one. This means, this is the meaning of these two conditions. Okay, let's now just solve this equation. R raised to the power four minus five R squared plus four equals zero. So if I factorize it, so I have to add the terms and, and then I have to obtain minus five. So R raised to the power four minus R square minus four R square plus four equals to 
zero, taking r square as common, multiplied by r square minus one, taking minus four as common, multiplied by r square minus one, and this whole thing is equal to zero. Therefore, r square minus one multiplied by r square <coughs> minus four equals zero. Therefore, r square is equal to one. So r is equal to plus minus one. Both will be ignored because if r is equal to one, all other terms would be same. If r is equal to minus one, the terms would not be positive. Not all the terms would be positive. So this is ignored, rejected. R square is equal to four. So r is equal to plus minus two. When r is equal to minus two, not all other terms will be positive. So only acceptable value of r. Is r is equals to two. This is only accepted. All other three values of r are ignored. Okay, according to this condition, which is mentioned in the question. Okay, so when r equals to two, now what you can do? Just wait a minute. The screen has become a little bit slow. It's it's fine now. So when r is equals to two, you need to find the value. Of the common difference, which will come in terms of a, obviously because you have to give your final answer in terms of a. This means that you cannot find the value of a over here. Okay, so r equals to two over here. So the common difference d is equals to a multiplied by two square and then minus a. So the common difference is supposed to be four a minus a. The common difference is supposed to be three a. So in terms of a, you have the common difference three a. What you need to do, you need to find the sum of the first. Twenty terms of the arithmetic progression. So sum of n terms is equals to n over two multiplied by two a plus d times n minus one. So sum of the first twenty terms is supposed to be twenty over two multiplied by two times three a plus the common. Sorry, two times a. Sorry, two a plus the common difference is three a. So Three a times twenty minus one, which is nineteen. So here you go. Sum of the first twenty terms is equals to twenty over two, which is ten, multiplied by two a plus three a times nineteen. <clears throat> three multiplied by nineteen. This is fifty-seven. So fifty-seven a. So fifty-seven a plus two a will give you fifty-nine a, and ten multiplied by fifty-nine a. Five hundred and ninety a will be your final answer. Some of the first twenty terms, in terms of a of the arithmetic progression, is five hundred and ninety a. There you go. This is your answer to question number four.